Caden Johnson vacuum breakers provide a simple, dependable way to relieve any unwanted vacuum condition that may develop in a closed vessel or pipeline. They can be used to prevent contamination from backflowing in fluid handling systems and to protect equipment against collapse or implosion. They combine tight closing with instant response, provide large air venting capacity, are designed for easy installation and long service life. The vacuum breaker consists of the body with the EPR seat adhered, stainless steel ball, stainless steel spring, and stainless steel retainer tube. The vacuum breaker seals against positive pressure because the spring pushes the ball against the seat. Since only slight spring pressure is needed for seating, the ball comes off of the seat at very low vacuum condition, providing almost instantaneous protection. In this video, we will show two barrels filled with steam and then sealed. The second barrel will show the application of a vacuum breaker being used to protect the barrel from collapsing as the steam condenses. The vacuum breaker allows air to enter the system to replace the change in volume that occurs during the steam to condensate phase change. For reference, one pound of steam at zero PSIG occupies nearly 27 cubic feet. Once this volume of steam condenses, it will occupy little more than 0 0.01 cubic feet. The barrel begins this demonstration at zero PSIG. The barrel in this example will be filled with steam while open to atmosphere. Once the air is purged and the barrel reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit, we will pull the steam source and seal the barrel. Once the barrel is sealed and a condensing load is applied to the barrel, the steam inside condenses and the pressure falls. Ultimately, the pressure inside of the barrel is low enough relative to the atmospheric pressure outside that the barrel collapses. The barrel begins this demonstration at zero PSIG. The barrel in this example will be filled with steam while open to atmosphere. Once the air is purged and the barrel reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit, we will pull the steam source and seal the barrel. Once the barrel is sealed and a condensing load is applied to the barrel, the steam inside condenses and the pressure falls. This barrel has a three quarter inch vacuum breaker installed in the smaller bung opening. Once the vacuum inside of the barrel reaches one inch of mercury, the vacuum breaker opens, allowing air to replace the collapsing steam, and thus preventing the barrel from collapsing. Note that the vacuum breaker can be supplied with internal threads to run a line to a safe place, protecting the vacuum breaker from contamination and guiding any drips that may occur during venting to a safe place. Thank you for watching and be sure to let us know if you have any questions or comments.